There is something a lot of people may not know about Sound Sultan. Sound Sultan prayed five times daily. He was a devoted Muslim. I don't know what to say that people don't know. Sound Sultan is pretty much an open book. Yeah, he's as open as they come. It is sad to talk about this young man, but I. I am yet to see an artist with the kind of clout he has. We've remained friends and brothers because of the kind of person he was. I mean, it's difficult to speak about San Sultan in the past um, tense, but he was an amazing human being. Today is a living legend and he lived a good life. And I'm happy to have journeyed with him throughout the most of that journey while he was here. And he was a brother, he was a friend, he was a giver, he was a supporter. He was I call it my backbone because the, the friendship we had, it, it runs deep. The things he did for me as a brother, as a friend, it runs deep. It's not something I'll just be saying every now and then. He was that good. He was that good and and he was a very good fellow. My name is T.Y. Mix. I'm a music producer. I met Sultan uh, many years ago. Um, it started from producer-artist relationship, grew up. Uh, moved to being friends and family. I was deeply saddened, of course, when I heard the news, you know. Um, but hey, what can we do, you know? Um, we really thought he was going to come, come out of it alive, but God knows best. Do this thing, for face me, I face you. Promise, you know, go fashy them. Every other month, you go to touch them. The anchor, truly, the word legend, is being thrown around in this industry. Sound so tan, fits so well. Let's learn a bit more about him in this short video. Mago, mago, get dough. And your only boy wife don't know. Next thing you know, she don't go report you. Waiting, you know, they don't report you. I wish. I'm here at um, the event celebrating the life of a dear friend to me, Sound Sultan. I took the news with shock. I stopped everything I was doing and I, I shed tears uncontrollably. I'm an artist, I'm a musician who was mentored by Sound Sultan. Um, he's a very kind person and uh, was grooming me to come out with a, with a song with him called Naja I Love You. Over time, all that I got from that was he just always wanted the best for people. I don't know what else to say, but I love the brother and I think he's really, really, really. He would be happy to see the gathering here tonight, to understand that he made a difference. Sultan was um, selfless, kind, humble, and um, talented and down to earth. My president has always been black, but I feel strange. I'm wondering if he was right. Would that bring the change? I need the change came. Make sure you show them love.
because he was a very present person in everybody's life. Very, very present. I've never done this before. I remember standing on this stage in 2019 when we had Jungle Story 2. We were all happy. We had a successful show. Now, I'm on this stage saying a tribute to some of time. So sad. I'm saying a tribute to my boss. Till now, I'm still in shock. I cried so hard and I asked God, why? Why did you take such a good man so early? Rest in the Lord. Sleep well, sir. Till we meet again. And to the wife and children, I deal with you now for life. Thank you. I was privileged to share some of his last days here in Nigeria with her. We had that little home together. And that was going to be the major one that I think I worked on. And I'm so happy that not just people singing to impress the room, but rather to speak to people's consciousness and the spirit, the conversations, the Chisang city is there, and I know they know some of those conversations. Those conversations were better songs. So we did not lose a musician, we lost a human being. Larry is beyond just calling him a musician, a legend, or whatever you want to call him. Larry, to me, I've met Larry about 20 years, way back from Basu, and we lost a human being. And what I want us to do, I want to say this evening is if you have friends, if you have people that has taken you probably a while to check up on, please pick up your phone and call them. The last message I got from Larry was, bro, I was complaining that guy seems I want to run, I want to come and see you over there in Nigeria. The way it's looking now, let me just run away for two weeks that I want to come and see you and I just saw bro. Like what is bro? So that is the last thing Larry will say to me. But I pray for the family. We have an album together. Thanks to Baba D. We intend to drop the album. I don't need anything from the album. Everything goes to the family, to the wife and the kids. And so when I heard the news that he was not getting better, or that he had died, I, I called and he said, Baba. And he always calls me Baba. If you are people here, I'm going to come back that day. We will do it because basketball has to bring all these boys out like football did. I first met him through his elder brother, Baba D, who introduced him to me. We were in the studio working one day and he said, look, I have a younger brother who is very talented and very, he's going to be a great guy. And I said, okay, no problem, introduce him to me. And um, when I saw him the first time, he was with his box guitar. And the first song he played for me was actually the song I was privileged to produce for him that made him who he was back then, that would be the early 2000 mathematics, which was this hour. I don't know if most of you know this. I, we did the song, at that particular period, I was working with the plantation boys then, trying to bring them out on my label, and I told him, I gave him my word, I said, after the plantation boys, you're going to be next. And by the grace of God, um, we finished the project and it was successful and that was what made him who he is and right now he has done a lot of songs and, and which has impacted a lot of people and has also encouraged, also motivated most of our young and upcoming artists. The last time we were here together, I mean I can't go on and on about the jokes backstage. You work with him, it, um, you don't want the project to end because was such a great human being to be with. The man who asked Jesus what the greatest uh, of the commandments was, and Jesus said, Love the Lord your God with all your strength, with all your might. So that's the greatest.
his commandment. Um, Sound Sultan's devotion to God was known to his friends. But entertainers can be not the best people in terms of when you meet them in person. Uh, we were not the best at keeping in touch. Okay, so uh, we're not the best at keeping in touch. But he's a good guy. See you. Plantation. Oh. Sing along, say, ay, 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 everybody say, plantation. 